Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs um, for January 2021. Can't believe we're already in 2021, but thank you, Lord, right? 2020 was crazy. Um, so, my loves, if you're looking for a personal reading, my web, my website, my um, email is below, cancerbabyinfo uh, at gmail.com. Oh, buddy just woke up um, at gmail.com. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. I do a huge giveaway every month. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, books, Bibles. I do a $250 giveaway every month. It is a lot of fun, okay? Um, so like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Um, don't forget to send me an email manifesting what you would like to win in the giveaway. Okay, the email is below manifestlove777 at gmail. So if you want, you know, tarot cards, oracle cards, whatever you want, shoot me that email. Okay. Um, and oh, guys, I have a subscriber that has been with me since I first started my channel. Uh, she has a family member that has a kidney failure. So she started a GoFundMe page. Um, I just donated 200 this morning, so I think she's at uh, 980 at this point. They're trying to get to 3,000 or something like that. So, guys, if you could check it out, the link is below. Even if you only have five dollars to donate, it would just be so appreciated, um, you know, to help a family in need during the holidays. Okay, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Geminis, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Geminis, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Geminis, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 2021, please, Spirit. Okay, so let's see here. So we have, ooh, the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. We have the Death Card, Scorpionic Energy. And we have the Eight of Cups with the Five of Swords. So Gemini, I feel like something has uh, ended, obviously. Something very painful. And I feel like there's this energy of what now? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what now? What What's going to happen now? Um, I feel like maybe it could have been a karmic cycle that ended, but it was definitely toxic. Something very toxic has ended here. Um, Eight of Cups and the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like someone has just emotionally disconnected from mind games, from someone who was very mentally or emotionally abusive. Um I feel like that person no longer has a hold on the other person anymore. Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We've got the Chariot, Cancerian. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Sun, Leo energy. And we have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like this person's coming in with an apology. Okay? I feel like you managed to get away, or Gemini, to be honest with you, you know, it could be you that was abusing this person. I don't know. You got to take it as it resonates, okay? But someone here got away, and I feel like an apology is coming in. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I brought you to the brink of walking away. Um, you know what I'm saying? Someone here may be saying, listen, I've decided that I want to come in. I want a Ten of Pentacles with you. I want to, you know, get married. I want to build a life together. I want to set goals. But with the Sun card and the Seven of wands there is this inner knowing there is this enlightenment of knowing that you should not respond to this person or that you should push this person away we have the six of cups here we have the two of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles 
and we have the two of wands. So Gemini, this is someone from your past. Okay, you've been on and off with this person for quite some time. This is someone that likes to juggle you with other people, someone who doesn't know what they want. In the past, you know, I feel like you have made this mistake ongoing for a long time. Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. You have made the wrong decision when it comes down to this person for a very long time. We've got the Star card, Aquarian Energy. And the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you are in this energy where all you want to do is just work on yourself. You know, full card, you just want to kind of start your own new beginning. All you want to do is heal, work on your inner healing, and, you know, do what you got to do. That's it. We've got professional assistance. Some of you may be uh, in training, starting a new job, or it could be that you guys are getting some type of, you know, help with therapy or whatnot um, to get you through this, because it would seem here that someone was very toxic. We've got commitment. Some of you may be filing for a, a divorce, getting a lawyer. We've got travel. And we have the sacred temple. Yeah, you want to, someone here is moving on because they want peace. They want something, um, someone's uh, starting to learn how to protect their mind, their thoughts, their body. They're seeing, your, your body is a temple. It's sacred, okay? And I feel like someone here is moving into a very sacred place. Um, their peace is, uh, they're protecting their peace, okay? We've got strategy. We've got indecision. And we have blossoming abundance. Yeah, I feel like someone here maybe was manifesting, journal manifesting, or someone here was has been planning this for some time. Uh, and finally, the decision has been made to move towards prosperity, to move towards prosperity. So we have it safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest uh, um uh, energy of all and separation. So time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I feel here that we have a situation that is separating because somebody here wants to move into safety. They want to move uh, and be around people, places, and things that they can trust. Okay. All right, Gemini, I love you and take care. Bye.